Hey there, James here. Hope you're having a good day and welcome to another one of my videos. Now, in this Lick of the Week lesson, I'm going to show you a cool blues rock star lick in the style of ZZ Top's Billy Gibbons using some pinch harmonics, some sliding blues scale, and a couple of other cool devices. Now, remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my other Lick of the Week lessons, which are coming every week. And also, if you want the tab worksheet with full tab and everything for this lesson, then you can grab that by clicking the link underneath this video. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you the scale that the lick's coming from. I'll break the lick up and show you how to play it. By the end of the lesson, you'll have everything you know uh, to play this Billy Gibbons lick. So let's have a listen to the lick over the backing track now, and then we'll look at the scale shape that it's coming from. Now this lick is in the key of E and it's coming from the sliding minor pentatonic scale and the E blues scale shape. So let's quickly check out the fingerings of those scales before we jump into the lick. We're using a part of this common minor pentatonic sliding pattern here. If you haven't seen that one before then check out the screen um, on screen tab and follow along. And we're also using this E blue scale pattern. I'm going to play down this one. Again, if you haven't seen it, follow along on the tab and learn the pattern. Okay, now the first part of the lick is using this uh, fragment from the sliding pentatonic shape. So let's check out how we play that. We're going to use this bit along the G string from our sliding pattern and then we're going to use this note on the B string there. So let's look at what we're going to do. I'm going to start in the 14th fret on the G string. I'm going to pick that and slide it up to 16. Then I'm going to use my second finger on the B string here. Now I would just suggest that you use these fingers because it's going to help you out when we get back down here again. If you use these two fingers you're going to come a bit unstuck when we move the lick down. So use your third for the slide and your second on the B string. And what we're going to do is this. When you get there, pick the B string and pick the G string again. And we're going to do that one, two, three, four, five, six times. This time slide the G string note back down to 14 and play 12 on the G. Now it's a little bit easier if I play the whole thing to hear how it fits together. So here it's really slow. Three, four, one. You can hear I'm letting it ring together and I quite like the sound of that, but you don't have to do that. You can separate the notes out a little bit if you prefer. So choose which way you like. Here's uh, one more time through that before we move on. Three, four, one. Now we come back down into our blue scale pattern from earlier. So now we're going to play the 14th fret on the D string. I'll use my second finger for that. Then grab this 15th fret on the B string. We're going to bend that up with some vibrato. And that's the first half of the lick. Let me play that round slowly for you. Three, four, one. The next part of the lick is going down the blues scale with some pinch harmonics. Now, pinch harmonics are a favourite technique of Billy Gibbons. We'll have a look at how to play that in a second. Sounds like this. So let's check out how we play that part of the lick. Let's look at the notes before we look at the pinch harmonics. We're going 15 down to 12 on the B, 15, 14, 12 on the G, 
14 to 12 on the D, 14, 13, 12 on the A, then down to 10 on the A string, and then we're going to pick the E string at the 12th fret twice. Basically, just descending that E blues scale pattern which we saw earlier on. Now, here we're using a Billy Gibbons style pinch harmonic. So, this is when you get that squeaky sound. Now, you'll hear different players uh, do them differently. Someone like Zach Wilde does these massive sort of wailing pinch harmonics. Billy tends to be a bit more subtle than that. I would suggest to get to sound like him, use down picks on this. And you just want your thumb just to catch the side of the string after you've picked it. There are some videos on pinch harmonics on my channel if you need more help. But for the time being, if I just zoom in close here, you can see I'm just striking the string with the side of my, uh, the flesh on the side of my thumb straight after I hit it with a pick. And I'm using down picks here. You could use up picks, but I'm going to use down picks. <laughs> trying to add that slightly squeaky high-pitched edge to the note. I think they're pretty close to how Billy uses them. So um, that's that second part of the lick. So let me put that together with the first part now. It goes three, four, one. Okay, now we're going to finish off with a little bit more sliding scale along the low strings. We're going to pick 12 on the D string with our third finger, slide it up to 14. Then pay 12, uh, sorry, it's 12 on the A string, my mistake. Slide 12 up to A string on the 14. Then 12th fret on the D string. Then pick your A string at the 14th fret again and slide it down to 12. Then play 10 on the A string. And then we're going to slide to 14 on the D. Actually pulling off there, slide, pull off, slide. It's a nice tidy end to the lick. And that's the kind of thing you hear Billy use and he's playing quite often. Notice how it's coming from this kind of sliding blues cow pattern we saw earlier. So what I think I'm going to do now is put the second half of the lick together. Here it is from the pinch harmonics part. One, two, three, four. So that's a close-up breakdown of how you play the lick. Let me play the whole thing for you round now, and then we'll stick it over the backing track. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four, one. So that's how you play the Billy Gibbons style lick. Now, if you've seen any of my other Lick of the Week lessons, I'll say the same thing every week. What you need to do is take the bits out of this lick and see what you can do with them. And there's some pretty cool little bits to take from this lick and see how you can use them in your own play. I mean, this sliding bit at the beginning is pretty cool. You could put on a backing track and jam around with that, see what you can do with that bit. You've also got the descending blues scale bit with the pinch harmonics. You could come up with some variations of that. And this little sliding bit at the end too. So let's see if I put on a jam track now, if I can just work some of those into my playing a little bit. And this is how we become fluent at using them. They just become part of our own style, even though we originally borrowed them from someone like Billy Gibbons. So I'm gonna put on the jam track now and just have a listen to what I can do with some of these things. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so 
so, you know, some of that sounded better than others, but I was just trying to weave some of those ideas together. This is how we get used to using them in our playing. So make sure you take your favorite parts from this lick or any lick you learn and practice doing that because this is how it will become a part of your own guitar style. And, you know, Billy got these ideas from someone else too, probably, so it's all right to borrow them from him. Anyway, that's all for today's lesson. I hope you got something useful out of this video. Enjoy the lick, enjoy, enjoy experimenting with it. Remember, you can get the free tab worksheet for this lick uh, by clicking the link under this video and uh, you can just grab it there. And uh, remember to subscribe to my channel too because a lot more Lick of the Week lessons and all sorts of other stuff coming your way. So subscribe now so you don't miss any of my future videos. Anyway, good luck with this lick. Hope you enjoy it. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you again in another one of my lessons. So take care. Bye for now. Thank you.